Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share with you my latest album, which is Underwater Love from Chow Bella. This is eight and a half, or actually eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter by two and a half with four pocket pages. So first on the cover, I did a lot of dimension here, which I think turned out really cute. I especially like the um, the uh, seahorse. I've added these clusters of flowers and I placed them right on top of what would have been either coral or sea anemones to just make it pop a little bit more. So I've got layers here and here. On the side, I've got these beautiful charms. So if you get your paper from us, you will get some charms that coordinate with the um, with the collection. And depending on um, when you order, we may have some substitutions. But at the moment, I think we have all of these. So we'll have seahorses, starfish, crabs, and shells, and others. And here's the back. It's nice and simple. So let's take a look inside. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I, I really love this. And trying to use it inside the book. I was having a hard time because I just couldn't see a picture, but you could put a very small picture right here without covering up too much of those beautiful images. And these parrots are cute and the blue and blue goes together. We have a nice large photo mat and then a smaller photo mat that go in here. That's page one. And then we have a nice large photo mat insert. There's actually enough paper to do both sides. I'm just always in a hurry to get content out to you guys. So this, without a doubt, is my favorite page. <laughs> so page two. So I've got this bifold card, which I somehow got this in upside down. And then this is like a gate fold. And this insert is what's holding it closed. So the idea here is when it's closed, you just barely get a peek of him. And then actually when I think it's not all the way down. There we go. Can't really see that it's a person there. So you've got this V and this V, and then this lays on top. So it sort of just looks graduated. And then you open this, and you can see there's an image there. And then you see this cute image between the gatefold. Then you open it up, and there's this big image. And you could easily get photos here, and a photo here, and uh, photos here. The other thing is, if you had a couple photo, that's where you'd want it to be peeking out. So I think that turned out really well. I really like it. I hope you guys do too. And it's it's pretty simple to make. These are just straight diagonals. Everything in this album, absolutely everything in this album, was cut on a um, paper trimmer, which makes them go much, much faster. So here is um, an image that was cut apart from one of the pages. And then we've got lots of photo space in here. Another large photo mat with a coordinating strip on the back. Okay, page four and five. I used this <laughs> and then forgot I had used something similar on page one. So that was a little disappointing, but I'm still happy with the way this looks. So this is a gatefold with a nice large belly band and two very large photo mats. One is seven by seven, the other is six by six. Isn't that cute? And then this is just a large belly band, and then inside is a very large photo mat. So this one I made a bifold, so there's tons of photo space here. Another large photo mat. And this, I really liked this image, so I wanted to preserve it. So what I did was a four by four trifold. Okay, and then over here, I really wanted to preserve this. And then when this is in place, all of this sort of flows together from the, an image perspective. This is a nice large insert that opens. And then when you take it out, you get this full image. I think I got hung up on the other page. So I think that turned out nice as well. Another nice large photo mat. And then a pocket page. And this is a dual sided insert this is six by six so it's got plenty of room for lots of photos and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorials are now up and ready for you guys to use um the base album build um is the same as the eight and a half by eight and a half all i did was make the cover and the spine a quarter inch shorter 
uh, and a quarter inch narrower. Not the spine, but the uh, cover front and back is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and this is two and a half by eight and a quarter. So you don't have to do that. I was just wanting to get my margins uh, a little bit smaller, and I'm, I'm happy with the way that looks. So there's not so much of a gap from the top of the page to the top of the book. So that's completely optional, and that's the only thing that changes. The pocket pages inside remain the same. So as always, thank you for tuning in to Scrap and Create. Um, we're always happy that you spend some time with us over here, and we hope you enjoyed this project. My next project is Wild and Free Graphic 45, and I'll be starting that tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll be back soon.